Hello, in this movie we shall see how to decode a JWT token payload. Well, JWT token basically consists of three parts separated by dot. So this is an example for JWT token that is JSON web token. So it consists of three parts separated by dot. So this is the second part and this is the third part. So the first part represents header, the second part represents the payload and the third part represents the signature or the signing key. Okay, in this tutorial we shall see how to decode this particular payload which contains the user claims and the information related to this user using a Java program. So if you want you can modify these details and this token will get updated as per what you modify here. So let me put the cust put my custom information here. I'll change the name as SN Matula. And I'll add a username. Okay. So this JSON should be valid only then you will get this token generated. So let us we will use this particular token and we will arrive at this particular payload that is we will decode this token and generate this payload through, through a Java program. I just start by creating a Spring Boot project. Use, I'm using the name as JSON decoder and I'll just use a web dependency hit finish so it has generated a project let me clean it up I delete the test package For this program, we need a common codec dependency from Apache library so that we can decode this base64 encoded payload. So the group ID is common codec and artifact ID is same as group ID. You don't need to supply the version parameter as Spring will take care of adding that version value okay by default spring has separated the version as 1.11 which is good for us let us open this java application and make it as a rest controller let it import Like it did not import. I'm using Control Shift O to enable import. And let us add a small controller which will take the token as a parameter and returns the JSON payload as the response. Okay. So we'll be returning a string, and the name of our method will be decode JWT and we will be expecting a token as input so let us use string token as input argument for now return null let us annotate it with post mapping and the handler will be jwt slash decode and the input we would be receiving it as a body in the body not in the header section or not in the query parameters so for that sake we need to add another annotation called request body once we get the token typically the jw token consists of three parts separated by dots the first part is header which is a base64 encoded json string and the next thing is payload same thing it is also a base64 encoded string the third part is signature or the signing key 
okay so now we are interested in the payload so whatever token that is supplied to us we need to split it based on the dot and extract the middle part that is the first first thing so let us split it split based on the period character and take the in element at the first index which is the payload okay now we can use base64 class provided by apache commons codec and there is a utility method called decode base64 and we can supply this payload to this method for it to decode our token payload and this method returns a byte array and we can simply convert this byte array into a string by passing it to the strings constructor okay so let us use utf8 as a standard char set and this constructor will throw unsupported encoding exception let us add it as a throws declaration and let us remove this return statement and add that return here so we are pretty much done okay now let us run this application and supply the token run as spring boot application so the application has started okay i am switching to chrome let me copy this token and let me go to postman this is the url that we are going to use this is the endpoint and we are using post mapping and in the body we need to supply the token and let me use text slash plain and i am passing this token as text input for our endpoint http endpoint let us see what we have got out of it so we have got name as sn madula Use a name as SN Madula, admin true and JTI and whatever that we can see here. Okay. Now the the output that we have received is also in the form of text. If you look at the headers, the content type of the head header, the content type header says it is text slash print. Let us convert it into a JSON. Let me go to STS and just speak it a bit. value is this and consumes we are consuming text so let us add media type dot text plain plain value and we are producing a json it's a, it's it is actually consumes and produces we are producing media type json json value application json value and let us restart the program wait for it to start it has started so let us access the same endpoint again and this time it is responding back with a json json payload and in the json structure standard json structure and the current type is application slash json If you want to modify the token, you can go ahead, modify, and just remove. I am removing all these things. Okay, and I am just saying first name as SN, and last name as Madula. Okay, if you want it. to add an email can add that this all works fine okay now let me take this payload and see whether i get the same response or not this time let me mark it as admin as false copy this pay token and go to postman delete this paste the new token and hit send so you have got first name last name email and apart from that you are still getting these 
details so these are by default you will be receiving these details whether you supply them or not these are by default included in the jwt token okay so that's all for this video thank you so much for watching